Amlodipine is a calcium channel blocker. So calcium helps with strong contraction of the heart and the blood vessels. So what the amlodipine will do as a calcium channel blocker is to block the entry of the calcium into the cells of the heart and the blood vessels. Thereby, you are allowing the heart and the blood vessels to relax, which allows blood flow into the heart, which reduces your blood pressure. Amlodipine comes in 5 mg and 10 mg doses. Usually you start with a low dose of 5 mg, which is more than sufficient to control your blood pressure. However, in a few proportion of people, they will need a higher dose such as 10 mg. Now, with the 10 mg dose is when some people might start to experience side effects of amlodipine. Usually you might experience flushing, palpitations, dizziness, fatigue, and the most common side effect, which is the reason why a lot of people stop taking amlodipine, is swelling of the foot and the ankles. So if you're on 10 milligrams and you've got swelling of the foot and the ankles, you might want to consider reducing the dose back to 5 milligram and adding another blood pressure medication on top of that, which I'll talk about later on. Also, there is the option of swapping to another calcium channel blocker, such as philodipine, nicardipine, or nifedipine. However, they do not work as well as amlodipine in my opinion. 